shit. 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 What if, and just hear me out for a second, you shut the fuck up. Shit. 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 Until the point okay, that then, I'm not okay. done talking yet. You will speak when I'm done. Oh, Ooh, honey. Girl, okay. security. So what do you guys do for fun around here? I don't know, sometimes we throw shit at Kevin. Who's Kevin? Kevin! Peter, the horse is here. Peter, the horse is here. Hello, my name is John. I'll be your server today. I was wondering if you know what you'd like to order? Uh, yeah, I have a question about the menu, please. The man I please is none of the business. Okay, well, that's interesting. You know why? Why? Because... So nothing bad happened? Mm-mm. You didn't wreck it? Mm -mm. You didn't hit anybody? Mm -mm. You didn't run anybody over? Mm -mm. You didn't get a speeding ticket? Mm -mm. Wait, Jeffy? Mm -mm. Why are you making that face? Mm -mm. Jeffy, did you get a speeding ticket? Mm -mm. Jeffy! How to dress to attract a man, a tutorial. Rule number one, make sure your hair is always long and lustrous and never put up. Rule number two, make sure to show a little skin, especially those stems, ladies. Rule number three, footwear should be dainty and delicate. Rule number four, show off that waist at all times. Rule number five, always have a pleasant expression on your face. I promise you will attract a man. Okay, everybody's doing it, so I might as well, on my red flags, we No, they're not. They're cute. Who doesn't? Yeah. Why is that bad? I'm a busy person. Fuck you. My biggest pet peeve is when you're walking with your friends and they can't keep up. Like, hello? <laughs> hey guys, so I'm just having like a little small, little miniature mental breakdown moment and I just have the overwhelming feeling to change my entire appearance. Starting with my hair, but I really like it. I've had it for a few months and I feel like if I change it, I'll regret it, but I need you to either convince me to keep it or convince me to change it. And if I do change it, to change it to what? Help. Hey, loser, it's been a while. Hey, you look like shit, and you smell like shit. Ah! <laughs> Mom's losing it lately, eh? Oh, yeah, she's off a rocker. It's <gasps> f***ing crazy. Mm-hmm, yeah. I'm back! Oh, my God, I missed you! I missed you, too! You look so pretty! Come here! No, you do! Come here, I missed you! Gross. I just threw up in my mouth. Oh, yeah, and I was just like... Excuse me? Oh my goodness. What? You totally looked and sounded like mom when you told that story. Oh, no, I did not. You're doing it again? Oh, goodness gracious. You... Okay, what do you think of this new little sculpture I got? It's kind of funky. <gasps> <gasps> what do you think about that one? It's pretty nifty. Oh, oh my god. Hey, don't you go using the Lord's name in vain. <gasps> Hokey Dinah. On today's episode of Let's Let an App Tell Me Why I'm Single! Oh, did I get an answer? You go. Oh, shit! Hey, you wanna go to the mall? Uh, yeah, I got an appointment in a few hours, but I'd love to. Cool. Ooh, and after we can sneak in a lunch at that new restaurant that just opened. Ooh, yes! Are you gonna have enough time though? Oh, yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. Hey, you wanna go to the mall? Can't. I have an appointment. Oh, bummer. Is it soon? Five o'clock. It's 11 a.m. Exactly. You have six hours before your appointment. Yeah, I don't get what you're not understanding. You have a lot of time to do stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna wait. So you're just gonna sit there for the next six hours and do nothing? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, everybody's been using this filter and I need to see what I look like <laughs> when I'm old. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, I, I look like my Grammy. Wait, why am I crying? <laughs> I'm okay with that. Hey, you wanted to see me? Ah, yes, please, sit. What's wrong with you? I'm afraid I'm not privy to what you're talking about. Why are you talking like that? Talking like what, exactly? Like you consume tea and crumpets on gold plates served by people that cannot speak unless spoken to. <laughs> well, that's just silly. 
Nonsense, really. Nonsense? You sound insane! Quite the contrary. So do you think that you sound any different? Like you're speaking in a completely different accent? You don't think that? I believe this is what I am meant to sound like. And if you do not, I would be happy to let Robert escort you out that door. Have you been watching The Crown? It is a possibility, yes. So good, right? It's so good. Tell the truth. It's horrendous. It's horrendous. It's modern. Don't lie! I'm not! I look like a pencil. You... You don't look don't like... Don't laugh! <laughs> it's okay! It's not okay! I'm gonna lose my job! Don't lose your job, it's cool! It's not cool! It's edgy! Oh, fuck off! Oh, it's cheap! It's unsalvageable! Claire, it's French! Really? Yes. Christina? Yeah, what's up, buddy? I'm just... I'm just so tired, and I'm just so big, and I'm just trying to put clothes on, and I'm like out of breath, and I just can't... And then I, I have restless leg syndrome, so then I can't even sleep at night, so then I get frustrated about sleeping, and... What are you doing? Trying! I don't know. <laughs> what have you done? I found a hammer. Yes. It doesn't work for everybody. Well. No. Oh. What's, what's the point? <laughs> Do you guys think we're in a simulation? Immediately, yes. There's no way that birds are real. Do you mean to tell me that potatoes make vodka? Do you think we're living in a video game and when you have deja vu, you just respawn in real life? Bro, I don't even think I'm here right now. Am I still a lesbian if I let my wife f me? Are mountains just the d of the earth? Socks are just like gloves for your feet. How many times do you guys think you've pooped in your whole life? Why is it called quicksand if you go down really fucking slow? Why is of spelled O F instead of O V? If you think about it, we're all edible. <laughs> you know, you know when you order stuff online, when you're really tired under the influence and you forget about what you ordered. <laughs> I don't remember ordering this. And you're like, oh, is it a jacket? Is it is it a little lamp or something? Nope, nope. It's uh. It's a, it's a life-size cutout of Bob. <laughs> hey, babe. Hi. Bless you. Bless you. <laughs> oh, I probably shouldn't kiss you. I'll get you sick. Oh, yeah, you're right. Hey, babe. Bless you. <laughs> oh, I probably shouldn't kiss you. I'll get you sick. Oh, I don't care. No, we shouldn't. Put your sick, flunny, disgusting, bacteria-ridden mouth on mine. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Stop. Oh, what the f Hey, there's some pizza downstairs. What? What is it? Is it the pants? Is it the- I know it's bulging a little bit here, but it's it, it's it. Do you like the pattern? I just got them. You don't- is it the shirt? Is it? I tied it in the back. I thought that was okay. Is it? It's too Y two K, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? And these these jeans aren't doing my ass any favors. I know. I know. My ass isn't that flat, is it? No. You think it is? I don't know, man. I don't know. I should. Should I change? Should I change? This is dumb. This is a dumb outfit. I'm. It's. It's dumb. It's dumb. I should. Should I change? Should I change? Okay. Yeah. I'll change. Yeah. So this is the house. It's great. Then. Oh. This is Kevin. Oh. Yes, my name is Kevin. I'm four years old and I'm a super good boy that likes getting pats on the head. <laughs> what? What do you mean? What? What was that? What, what just happened? Oh, Kevin's just, just talking to you. <laughs> what? No, because I'm a super good boy and I really like talking and chasing balls around the house, among other things. <laughs> what? Stop doing that! This is just Kevin's voice. Dogs don't talk! Kevin does. No, he doesn't. He's a dog. You know, oh, whatever, whatever. Okay, I'm moving on. What the third problem? I don't know. 
I am scared. I've been paying really close attention to Bill C-11, aka the Online Streaming Act. It's something my fellow Canadian creators should be paying attention to, and all the viewers as well. Bill C-11 was supposed to be promoting Canadian storytelling online. In reality, the bill has ended up so broadly worded that it lets the CRTC interfere with every part of your online life. That includes manipulating your feeds and search results, requiring you to provide proof of your age to access platforms like Reddit and Twitter, and controlling your favorite YouTube channels, TikToks, and other streaming services, and even your own uploads. Earlier this month, the Canadian Senate passed Bill C-11 with a helpful amendment that better protects Canadian creators. But on March 7th, the government gave notice that it would reject this amendment that would protect digital creators. This is terrifying and honestly wild for the government to just ignore digital creators and its viewers. Luckily, there's still time to make an impact. I will put a link for you to click on to send in an already written letter to your local MP. Thank you so much for listening and hashtag fix Bill C-11. I know I don't usually talk to you guys like this and most of you probably don't wanna see this, but this is for anybody else who needs to hear this. I have been seeing so many women on this app with their life together they get up, they drink water, they have green juice and egg whites and oatmeal, and they exercise a lot. Bless them. I'm on my third cup of coffee. It's 10 a.m. I'm wearing half the makeup on my faces from yesterday. And I haven't worked out. We don't need to talk about it, but I just want to say... It's okay that you don't have your life together, because I don't. And I'm not gonna change, because I don't really care. I'm probably gonna have a piece of toast with peanut butter and jam right now. Yeah. Y'all like the first couch hella roast, and I'm still sick. Let's roast some people. I don't know anything about fashion. Evan Mock is looking like if Adam Sandler appeared on an episode of Duck Dynasty. Glorilla is glowing on the top and clowning on the bottom. Emma Roberts forgot her outfit, so she went to the H&M sale rack to find one last minute. Miss Bell will be hosting an 80s Tybo workout class after the first performance. If you're from the southern states, you should probably check your mom's closet because Bad Bunny probably raided it and took a piece from each one of our favorite sundresses. I've been wondering why I haven't seen Barney in a while and Justine Skye is making me suspicious. Absolutely no notes. These women could pour hot coffee into my lap and I would thank them. Lil Nas X absolutely slaying in the Celt, but I'm a little confused about the Lululemon jacket. Pink Panther S, the 2000s called, and they're just as confused. Kendall Jenner looks like she's about to take a planned paparazzi Whole Foods trip to get a picture of her eating dairy-free pistachio ice cream. I don't think I'm legally allowed to say anything bad about Ember Chamberlain, so slay. All that's missing from this outfit is an actual horse. Here's my audition. <laughs> Oh no, are they gonna take the drugs to hide it from the cops? I don't know. What are drugs? They turn your brain into mush. But they make trees look really cool. Really? No, stop. Oh my god, are they gonna put the drugs up their ass? I don't know. What's an ass? It's a donkey, Riley. They're gonna put drugs in a donkey? No, it's another word for your butt. What is? Ass. Can you not? So a donkey is a butt? No, ass means donkey and butt, and butt means ass. But exactly. Oh my god, I'm done. I'm done. I'm gone. Can't even enjoy a movie. <gasps> What's up, her donkey? Close enough. Hey, I like you. Oh, hello. I I like you too. We should hang out. I would like that very much. Let's hang out. You're so great. You are also so great. We should we should make this a thing. What? A thing like like I would be with you and you would be with me and we would just just see each other you know because we like each other and we think each other are great I hear what you're saying and no oh do you, you don't like me anymore no I do a lot and I depend on you a lot and you're a great person and I really like hanging out with you okay but you, you don't you don't want to be with me no but I want to hang out still you know so you want to be with me but you don't want to be with me yeah like we're not exclusive but like you know Hey, I'm gonna go grab some coffee, maybe go to the mall. Okay. Did you hear what I said? Yeah, I heard what you said. What? Uh, are, are you busy or something? Yeah, kinda. I have a project I'm working on right now. Oh, well you can do that later. <laughs> yeah, I guess, but I'm broke as shit right now, so. No big deal, I'll pay for you, so. Really? Yeah, whatever. Thank you, man, that's really cool of you. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll just finish this up and then we'll go and...
You don't have any friends. <laughs> Shut the f*** up. Alright, go by yourself then. I don't care. No, it's fine. I'm sorry. Let's go. Only if you buy me a new outfit. Fine. Okay, this is how men see me. see me <laughs> I'm a hot mess mate this is why I'm single how my friends see me <laughs> okay I'm ready to go oh wow you look amazing <laughs> so you think I don't look amazing every day Oh, no, I just, I just... Oh, no, so I'm only attractive if I put 10 pounds of makeup on my face and show off all my assets. Regardless of how little they are. No. Nope, I raised the bar too high too soon. Now you know what I'm capable of looking like. It all just goes downhill from here. Babe, no, it's... I don't even want to go anymore. No, babe, come no, on. No, no, I'll just take off my makeup and clothes and crawl into my little troll hole and wait for the sun to go down so you don't have to look at me when I come back out. Okay, babe, I'm all ready. <laughs> Oh, well, you look amazing. Uh, thanks. Psst, look what I got. Oh, nice. We can't let the kids see, though. Kids see what? Da what? Da what? Oh, nothing. Nothing. No matter what, we can't let them know about the C-A-N-D-Y. Yeah, no. Oh, and also we have to take them to go get the S-H-O-T-S's today at the D-O-C-T-O-R-S's today. Oh yeah, if they knew that ahead of time, they would totally F-R-E-A-K-O-U-T. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and while we're out, we should grab some more A-L-C-A-H-O-L. -L. Good call. Yeah. All right, you guys ready for a quick car ride? No, they. But only if you give us the C-A-N-D-Y. That's in the C-U-P-B-O-A-R-D. And you misspelled alcohol! I am hella lost in this convo right now. Let me know when the exit's coming up. Uh, in a kilometer, get in the right lane. Perfect. Let me know when the exit's coming up. Ah, uh, we passed it two exits ago. What?! Let me know when the exit's coming up. In 3.5 kilometers. Oh, okay, cool. 3.4. Okay. 3.3. I got it. 3.2. You don't have to- 3.1. Shut up! You might want to get in the right lane. Oh, is it coming up? Yeah. In about 30k. When's the next exit? Right here. Oh! Is the next exit coming up? Uh, I'll keep going, a couple exits. Oh, is that what the map says? No, but it's fine, I got it. Okay, that's great, but what does the map say? It doesn't matter, we don't need it, I know where we're going. Yes, we do! No, we don't! I'm pulling over! <sighs> hey mom, can I ask you a question? Just ask. Yeah, yeah, you know what? I was just about to hold a family meeting in here too, so you might as well. Great. So, hypothetically, if someone was to put a fork in the microwave, would it explode? Uh, yeah, I don't know, probably. Hypothetically, how long would it take to explode? I don't know, like a couple minutes maybe? I'm not a scientist. Uh, did you put a fork in the microwave? Hypothetically. Oh my god, how long has it been in there? How long have we been talking? Oh my god. Oh shit. April Fool's! It, it, it's May 5th. Yeah, cuz you'd be expecting it on April 1st, so... Who put the fork in the microwave? Hypothetically, it did explode. I don't think you know what hypothetically means. This is how I believe Australian conversations go. Oi, where's Dad? Oh, he's on Chad's dick. He's on his dick? Yeah, mate, why? What about Mum? What about mum? Well, where is she? Well, dead's on somebody else's dick. What do you mean, mate? Mum's out on Chad's dick, too. What do you mean? Yeah, mate, I was thinking about hopping on Chad's dick, too. Oh, fuck me. I need a beer. Okay, I need to squash this debate I'm having with somebody. What do you put on first when you get dressed? A shirt or shorts? Ooh, shirt, for sure. Mm, definitely shorts. Yeah, see, I'm either or, but it's usually a shirt. Yeah, fair. Socks. What? Socks. I put my socks on first. What? That's insane. You're saying when you get out of the shower, the first thing you put on is socks? Yeah. That's ridiculous. If anything, it's the least ridiculous. What are you talking about? You gotta keep the outer extremities warm. On a cold day, socks, then gloves, then hat. What? 
The only way that order of getting dressed makes sense is if you're a f***ing starfish. Starfishes don't wear clothes. Oh yeah, what about Patrick from Spongebob? Oh yeah, he's the smart one, right? No, Patrick's the dumb one. Oh right, the dumb one. And what clothes does he put on first? Shorts. Exactly. Hey mom. Hey sweetie. Okay, don't freak out, but I got some tattoos. What? No! <gasps> See, they're small. They're small. They're just, they're just little, right? They're cute, right? Oh, no, honey. Like the Kardashians say, you never put a bumper sticker on a Bentley. Well, I don't know if you've noticed this, Mom, but I am not a Bentley, okay? I am a mentally ill, used-up Toyota Corolla who abuses the speed limit and forgets to change her oil from time to time and has been in one too many accidents and has to put bumper stickers on it to distract from all the dents on the outside. Do you need to see a doctor? No. I'm just gonna go get another tattoo. No! Hey, what's up? Not much. So you're having a chill day so far? <laughs> the sweater helps. Okay, so what did you do this morning? <laughs> just came from my auntie's funeral. Oh, I thought you said your day was chill. Yeah, it's a bit nippy, so? Well, are you okay? No, I'm Chris. You're unbelievable. Thanks. <sighs> anyway, I was gonna ask you, do you wanna hang later? Who? You. Me? Yeah. No! Maybe if you asked me last week, but no. Why? Because life's worth living, man. What is up with you? Not much. Oh my God. So you're not down? Where? To hang. No. Oh my gosh, you're killing me. You try to first. Everybody's at Coachella while we're at Couchella, but we're going to judge their outfits because there's nothing better to do and I have no fashion sense. Let's go. Okay, first up, we got Dixie D'Amaleo. Uh, it looks like she borrowed Justin Bieber shorts. And the top is cute. We got Charlie D'Amalio. This looks like an outfit I would have seen in a magazine in grade six and really wanted. Um, she's working it though. Haley Beaver giving us an absolute 2% max effort with this Lifestealer wife beater she's wearing and these pants that she probably raided from her husband's closet or her grandpa's, I can't tell. Bretman Rock looks like he bought an outfit for Coachella and then put it in the dryer for a little too long and somehow did the opposite process with the boots, but it's still cute, he's still slay. Harry Styles cosplayed as Animal from the Muppets, which is cool. If I had a quarter for every time Harry Styles did not wear a shirt under his outfit, I would probably have enough quarters to make this current outfit. Lizzo absolutely slaying in this bubblegum realness. She ate all the crumbs. I would give her my firstborn child for these pants and just for her in general. This looks like a sold separately outfit you would have to pay extra money for for your Barbie doll. Rosalia absolutely looking fire in this flowy outfit and it's cool that she actually performed after getting LASIK surgery. Apparently this is Amanda Steele. I don't know her, but if there's ever a shoelace shortage, I know who'll be stealing all the laces. Um, this woman is perfect and she cannot do any wrong. Hey, Ma. Hey, your sister told me that you and Riley are going to the movies later and I thought I'd invite myself along. Uh, no, we're not going to the movies anymore, actually. Oh, that's too bad. I was going to bring snacks. I got a potato salad in the fridge that's about to expire. Oh, yeah, that's, that's too bad. Uh, but yeah, no, we're not going, okay? Talk to you later. Bye. We're not going to the movies. Yeah, we're still going. But you just told Nona we weren't. I told Nona a white lie. A white why? It's a harmless little lie that protects her feelings because I personally didn't want to listen to her ask a hundred questions during the entire movie, but I don't want her to know that. Oh, okay. Okay, you ready to go? Yep. Great, uh, how do I look? Great. Thanks. Did I do it right? Do what right? A white why? A white lie? <laughs> There's something behind you. Shut up. Hey, we're in Seguin, Texas at the Historical Palace Theater. Dan, H.A. Daniels built it in 1947. This is the third theater to be on this site. First one was in 1915. Second one was in the 1930s. And then this one was uh, built in 1947 by my dad. There was a, a girl and she was holding somebody's hand and she, and she got hit. There's something behind you. Shut up. Okay. You guys following Jay around when he was here? Like, this is uh, the first photo. What is that? Yeah, there's something there now. Not. You know, like, it's, oh my god. Is the man here with us now? He's here. He's here. Don't worry. It's all the way up again. It's all the way up again. What are you looking at? 
think if I threw this cup hard enough, I could hit that guy in the head? No, why would you do that? I'm not going to, I was just asking. That's weird. Why are you staring at your fork? I feel like this pickle's probably the same texture as my eye. I could just take this fork and, you know, pick it out. Like a grape. Oh my god! Are you okay? What? Oh, I just imagined slipping on this towel and caving my head in with the shower handle. Why? There. What are you doing? Now I won't. I think there's an extremely high chance that would never happen. But there's always a chance. Okay. Okay, all packed up, ready to go. Did you put Jessica in the car seat okay? Yeah. Are you sure? Yes. Positive. A positive. Maybe I should sit back there with her. I just... No. All right, all packed up, ready to go. Yep. Yeah, oh, I feel like I'm forgetting something, though. Oh, we got the floaties, towels, beer. I think we're good. Yeah, it's probably nothing. Let's go. Christina's not in the car. What? Oh, shit. Uh, you're the oldest. She's your responsibility. This is on you. All right, all packed up, ready to go. Let's hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back. Let's do it. <laughs> all right, here we go. <gasps> oh, my God, what was that? That was Jacob. What? You're okay. Walk it off. He doesn't walk yet, Kara. Still? You left him on top of the car. Hey, this is on you. Hello? Okay, I have a huge announcement, and I know I kind of keep you guys in the dark with my personal life, but I'm I'm having a baby, <laughs> and I'm so excited. And no. I... I'm having a baby. It's, but it's mine too. It's my, I'm going to be an auntie. It's about me. Anyway, um. You good? What? Oh, no. I was just thinking how easy it would be to cut the tip of my nose off. <laughs> oh my God. Why? I don't know. Intrusive thought. Oh, okay. Does that happen a lot? Yeah. With pretty much everything and anything. Really? Everything? Okay. What about that sink? Put your hand in the garburetor and flip the switch. Okay, uh, what about the water bottle? Oh, that's easy. While you're drinking it, I just punch it into your mouth. Okay, uh, what about the countertop? Oh, come on. You walk, you trip, you bust all your teeth out on the corner of the counter. The cup. <laughs> Drop it on my toe, obviously. Oh my god. Okay, here's a hard one. A pillow. Oh, please. Two words. Suffocation device. Wow. Okay, so you have these thoughts like every day? Yeah. And you want to do them? No, I'm not crazy. <laughs> oh, okay, but you think about wanting to do them and it happening. Exactly. Are you okay? No. No. Hey, you my Uber? Yeah, I'm the evil bin. Sick. <sighs> Way added. Isn't it obvious? <laughs> Are you a valet at a Best Western? What? No! A two-star restaurant DJ. A <sighs> couple years ago, but no! You seriously don't know what I'm doing? Oh, oh, I know! You work at Subway. No! Oh, now I'm craving a tuna melt. <sighs> I'm going golfing! Oh! Never would have guessed that. What did you think this giant bag of clubs was for? I figured someone owed you money. What does that even mean? Yeah, I carry around a bat for the same reason. Whoa, whoa, okay, relax, lady. I never tell a woman to relax, especially when she's wielding a bat. Okay, jeez, take my money, okay? I'm leaving. I'll get another ride. But... Gotta take this out more often. Oh, isn't it sweet how our kids are playing together? Yeah, it's adorable. They're probably playing house together or something. Oh, yeah, probably. Your father and I have called this family meeting to tell you... You tell him. Emma's <sighs> getting a divorce. What? No. I'm sorry, honey, but we've already decided. You must choose. Choose what? Who to live with full time or who to visit on the weekends. But what about Christmas? See? Look what you're doing to this family. Well, I wasn't the one to sleep with Stacy from HR. And after our son Mario disappeared. Emma made a mistake. This marriage was a mistake. Mama, Papa. It's a me, Mario. Does this mean we could double the presents? 
I tell you, it is so nice getting all the kids together again. What's new with you guys? Not much. I quit drinking, so. Oh, that's great. How long has it been? Today. Oh, well. Oh, what happened? Who broke the lamp? Nobody. Now, kids, honesty is the best policy. If you're truthful, we won't be mad. Really? On God, go ahead. I use swear words on the playground for street cred. Th that's not what we I mean. periodically sell our mother's household items to fund our stock market investments. Duh. I knew we were missing a chair. What? We use your Netflix account. What? Last summer, I jumped off the roof because I thought that I was Spider Man and I accidentally landed on the family cat. Oh, Whiskers. I thought he ran away. Coyote came and scooped her up before we could bury her in the backyard. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. I'm gonna start drinking again. Oh my gosh, I just had the most intrusive thought. Oh, I get those all the time. What was yours? <laughs> I just imagined trying to shove this entire muffin into my mouth at once. <laughs> oh, that's that's not really an, an intrusive thought. That's more of an impulsive thought. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, no. An intrusive thought would be, I want to shove your muffin down your throat like it's a tube sock and a vacuum pipe. <laughs> Hypothetically. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So intrusive would be, I want to pick up this muffin and throw it at the wall as hard as I can. <laughs> It's close. It's close. Intrusive would be more like, I want to throw this stale rock hard muffin at an innocent bystander walking on the street, preferably a child holding a balloon to see it topple over like a bowling pin while it watches the only thing that brought it joy that day float away into the abyss. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Hypothetically. This is not a coincidence. It's not the algorithm, okay? If you're coming across this, you need to hear it. This is divine energy. Okay, spirits, tell me what they need to hear. Oh, half the deck. Okay. Ten of spades. Ten of spades. This means he is thinking about you. Okay? He's thinking about you. He does not talk to you, but he's thinking about you next. His name might be Jack. Might start with a J. Maybe an A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, O, Z, but could be it. Ace, he is the one. He's the one you've been waiting for and you need to wait four years. Just go wait four years, love, and like the video and also contact me uh, privately to get a private reading. And, oh, 11, 11 on the clock. I don't know what that means. Hey. Hey, uh, do you have an extra... Nope. I didn't even get to... No. Al I just wanted to know if you... Can I just... Can I just... Okay, I'm leaving. No, no, come on, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. All right, I'm done. What do you want? What do you want? I was gonna ask if you had an extra charger. Oh, yeah, I got an extra charger. Okay, thank you. What? You said you had an extra charger. Yeah. Well, can I have it? No. No. You're not even using the charger. Yeah, I'm using it to charge your mom. We have the same mom. You're an idiot. I'm done. No, come back. Come hang out. Come hang out. Come on. I'll give you a charger. I'll give you a charger. Here. Oh, shoot. I was just joking. Here you go. Here you go. Oh. oh. <sighs> Bitch. Ryan Gosling or Ryan Reynolds? No, definitely Ryan Reynolds. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. Christina Lee Hallowell Collins. Oh, that's full name. You're f***ed. What did you do? I, I don't know. Christina. Shit. Eavesdrop, eavesdrop. Did you skip class yesterday? Uh, oh damn, that's right, she did. Oh shit. Got two options here, she can deny, 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 or plead guilty and cry. Yeah, yeah, as long as she doesn't. Are you dumb? I would never do that. Oh shit. Oh no. It's like rule number one in mom's courthouse. If you attack, you get whacked. What a dumb ass. Wait, 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 I don't hear the wax. Jessica Leanne and Hallowell Collins, get down here. Is she calling a witness? She's calling a witness. Oh, no, man. I don't even have time for this dunce last month for not snitching on her. Now you got this, man. Get it together. <laughs> I can't go back there, man. I won't be able to DM Jason on MSN. Jessica! <gasps> you can have my Tamagotchi. Really? Sick. <laughs> Hello, my little ravioli, my tortellini. Oh, hey, Ma. Hey, oh, no, no. It's almost noon, and you're still in your sweatpants. Riley? Can you tell Yanona it's a Sunday and we're having a movie day? Uh, 
Mom told me to tell you that it's Sunday. Can you tell your mother that I just watched an eight-part series on Netflix about how screens rot your brain? Nona told me to tell you she watched an eight-part series. You want to tell your Nona to repeat the sentence she just said and realize how backwards idiotic that just sounded? Mom told me to tell- Tell your mother we forced her to go outside, rain or shine, until the sun went down and look how she turned out. Nona said- You want to tell your Nona I got bullied every day by the neighbor kids because she stuck me outside and that's probably why I have trust issues and social anxiety and need to go to therapy on a daily basis? Tell your mother back in my day we didn't go to therapy. We did the healthy thing with our feelings. The three B's. Beat down, bury, and bottle. That, that doesn't seem healthy. Can you ask your Nona why she's even here? Tell her I'm here because I wanted to ask if you guys want to go to the movies with me. I, you tell your Nona. I... Well, that was rude. Hey, uh, could you pass me a banana? Why do you have to do that? You know, it doesn't have to be like this. Be like what? We're all grown up now. We can just talk to each other and be mature about it. We're, we're be grown ups about it. You know, we could we could stop with all the childish antics and just get along and not just waste time doing stuff that we did when we were kids. We could we could actually have a relationship now. You could you could hand me that banana with without saying anything in retaliation. Just here is the banana. You know. Okay. Okay. Here is your banana. Thank you. Season this nice? Season this nice? Okay. I didn't wash my hands after I peed, by the way. Oh, God. <laughs> you look like you belong in a one hit wonder Y2K boy band, by the way. At least I don't look like you. At least I don't look Douche nozzle. Okay, what's something that's gross that tastes delicious? <gasps> Say it on one, two, three. Hot dogs. Cottage cheese. Sam's mom. What? Oh, cottage cheese. See, it tastes good, but I'm a texture person, so I just can't. Can we back up for a sec? Did you just say my mom? True, but if you put it on toast with tomatoes and avo like Sam's mom does, don't even notice. That's a game changer. Good one, Sam. Yeah. What? And hot dogs are delicious. I don't give a flying fudge knuckle what anybody says. Right? And everybody's always like, do you know what those are made out of? And I'm like, I don't care. Put it in my mouth hole. Enough about the hot dogs. Can we talk about what just happened yeah. here? I don't care if it was made out of Sam's mom's luscious hair. I would still eat it. Straight up. Ugh, got such a craving now. Same. Deborah, man. <laughs> did, did you get with my mom? Whoa, bro. You sound insane right now, dude. Wild. But you said Sam's mom. I didn't say that. That'd be crazy. <laughs> did you? For real? Hmm? Are you f***ing with me right now? Dude, yes, calm down. Your mom, on the other hand. Okay, ready, Colby? Yeah. Okay. What's up, guys? It's Sam and Colby, and we're here to- Dude, that cat ball went off! What? 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 If there's a spirit here, make a sound. <gasps> Dude, did you hear that? Did you hear that? What was that? I farted. We've been told this is like the spookiest, most haunted place in the house. So, I'm check it out. Don't close the door, Colby. I won't. Don't, dude, dude, don't close dude. The door. I'm not going to. <laughs> <laughs> We're halfway through the video and. Buy the merch! Buy the merch! Buy the like merch. the video, buy the merch! Subscribe, uh, subscribe, subscribe! Thumbs up, thumbs up! Okay, pose. That's hot. That's hot. <sighs> We got Colby here, doing the Estes method. Is there any spirits here that want to talk to me? Yes. What do you want to say? You're a little bitch. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Um, come here, give me a kiss. Yeah. Good morning, beautiful. Oh, dear God. What? Your breath smells like ass. Oh, come on. Oh, God. It smells like a raccoon with gangrene crawled into your mouth and set up camp in your back molars. That was a bit dramatic. You know, I never wondered what the inside of a dying whale would smell like, but now I know. I sympathize with Jonah. Okay. Hey, you wanna... Oh, um, I haven't... I haven't shaved, so I don't... Oh, no, yeah, it's... okay, okay. Yeah, whatever. It's fine. Hey, you wanna... You know? <laughs> yeah, sure. But you gotta know, I could braid what's going on down there. So, like a film location scout came by the other day, and that's where they decided Jumanji 3 is gonna be filmed. It's elaborate. Little okay. known fact, Guns N' Roses based the song Welcome to the Jungle, based on what's going down in my basement quarters right now. Great, because that is no land I refuse to conquer, and I'll bid you the best of luck, sir. I'll see you on the other side. You're a great man.
why did we turn Scottish? I don't know. I kind of want to watch Braveheart now. Same, same. Yeah, I can go over that right now. I got the popcorn. I'm not like other girls. I like anime. Would you fuck me? I'd fuck me. I would like to butter your biscuit. <sighs> Can I have some milky? Hi, and welcome back to Disney Channel. My name's Hannah Sylvana. My actual name is Smiley Cyrus, but I have a different name to remain anonymous and because I like milk. Why don't you come sit on daddy's lap? <laughs> hey guys, so I'm really upset. Um, I got my hair done. It's short. It's the shortest it's ever been. Um, which I'm not upset about that. I, I love the hair. I just forgot to make a really cool transition video. So I'm just going to give you a really, this is, this is my hair. This is my It's a proper pixie. I'll show you the sides. Very aerodynamic, feeling good. Show you the back. Don't even gotta pay for it. It's nice, isn't it? It's low maintenance. Not a lot of mileage. It's like selling a car. I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, I like my hair. That's it. Oh, honey, I hear you and your feelings are valid. I wanna understand why you're feeling this way. Why don't we go get an ice cream and we could talk about it. If you don't stop crying in two seconds, you're going to be standing up on the car ride home if you catch my drift. That's what I thought. Mom, can you buy this for me? Oh, well, right now we can't get that, but maybe we can wait for your birthday or for Christmas. How does that sound? Mom, can you buy this for me? No. Your dinner, sweetie. Um, I actually don't eat gluten anymore, Mom. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Um, but now that I know, I will go do some research and see what other options we have, okay? Here's your dinner. Um, I actually don't eat gluten anymore, Mom. The f did you just say? No, you can't go to your friends because you didn't finish your homework. Well, I'm going to call social services. Okay, let's take a breath. You sound like you're feeling stressed out. Why don't you go get your homework here and I can help you as much as I can. And then maybe when you finish it, you can go to your friend's house. No, you can't go to your friend's because you didn't finish your homework. Well, I'm going to call social services. Oh, okay. Okay. What, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just calling them for you. What? Is that all right? No. I, there you go. It's ringing. <laughs> no, I take it. Okay, fine. I'll do my homework. That's what I thought. Hey, Jacqueline, can I sit here? Oh, uh, yeah, go ahead. Beautiful day, eh? Yeah, gorgeous. I think I might go for a bike ride later. Oh, yeah, I hate cycling. <laughs> oh, I hate it, too. I just f cycling. Honestly, my sister makes me go with her. I'd, I'd much rather... Uh, what do you like to do? I prefer running. Oh, I love running. I love... I love running. Oh, no way. We should run together after work. <laughs> yeah, I would love that. And then we can um, go to this bar that I know this new one. I don't drink. Oh, yeah, me neither. Me neither. <laughs> I just really like the free nut medley they put out. It's good. Oh, yeah. Oh, since when did you start wearing bracelets? Oh, yeah. I just, I just love them. Really accents the wrist. I love them too. That's what I always say. <laughs> oh, no way. Oh, it's crazy. That's, that's wild. Wild. Wow, I can't believe we're so similar. Yeah. It's... What are the odds? <laughs> Little did she know, I had successfully morphed my personality into hers because I lacked the capability of developing my own personality and completely depend on other people to manufacture the person of my own existence. It's so nice to finally get out and go to dinner without the kids. Ah, agreed. Hello, welcome. How may I help you and your friend? Uh, girlfriend. <laughs> uh, do you have a reservation? No, I've never needed one here before. No. Well, we are completely full, so we cannot serve you. Then why do I see four empty tables right there? Those are reserved. For who? Other people. Ah. Oh. I do not see any other people here. They're running late, I guess. All of them? Yes. Let me ask you this, Todd. 
Do you like your fingers? Oh, no. I don't understand the question. Let me rephrase. Do you like your fingers being attached to the rest of your body? Are you implying that you would take off my fingers? I did not say that. Did I say that, Janet? She didn't say that. You said that. Uh, but now we have that all sorted. You can sit us in one of those four tables that we both know nobody is coming to sit in tonight. And you can keep your pretty little fingers so you can go home to your extremely unsatisfied wife and actually put them to use for once. Deal? Right this way. <laughs> you weren't actually gonna take his fingers, right? Of course not. Okay. <laughs> hey guys! Hey! I got a new outfit and I just, does it look okay? I'm not sure, like, I think it's cute though, right? Couldn't you decide on just one color? Girl, that face with that suit. Okay, um, you look great, Billy Blue Dean. <laughs> Billy. Okay, okay, um. Oh, yeah, is this what you wear to slop the hogs with? <laughs> I'm gonna change. <laughs> Guess what, guys? I got my first tattoo. Oh, no way. Cool. Oh, this should be good. <laughs> oh, let's see. Bah. Sure. No, yeah. wait, wait, let me guess, let me guess. What is the most basic white boy tattoo? Uh, a lion with a crown. No, no, a Roman numeral clock with an anchor in front of it. <laughs> yeah. No? No, 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 it's probably like barbed wire. Or trees growing up his arm. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's one of trees. Oh, yeah, ooh, ooh. Or an infinity sign. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's probably like a compass inside a rose. Star with a snake around it. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Laugh it up, all right? Because I tricked you, okay? I haven't got a tattoo yet, but I'm going to get a tattoo. And I knew you guys would make fun of me for it. So now I know what not to get. So suck it. Jeez, what's his problem? <laughs> oh. Get on your knees, baby girl. Mommy don't know daddy's getting high. <laughs> At the body shop, <laughs> doing something unhealthy. Whatever daddy wants, daddy gets. Can you hold the elevator? Damn it. Close, 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 close. I'm coming. Come on, close, you piece of shit. Woo, made it. Thanks. Oh, <laughs> yeah. It's no problem. Great. Alone in the elevator with a man, and my phone's dead, so I can't even look at it. Oh my god, did he just check me out? I mean, he's kind of cute, I guess. Oh my god, what if we got stuck in the elevator and we talked for hours and we fell in love? <laughs> oh wait, what if this is like a Ted Bunny situation and he's super cute and charming at the start but then takes me back to my hotel room and has his way with me and then takes my head as a souvenir? Oh my god, he's not checking me out, he's sizing up his next victim! I have to fart so bad. Okay, be cool, be cool, be cool. Okay, let's just look at our self-defense saved TikToks on our phone, okay? F*** it's dead! Hold it in, buddy. What the f*** is that these? Oh, I'm done for. Of course this would happen to me. I can't just have a nice, neat and cute. I gotta get stuck in the elevator with a guy that's gonna eat me out Jeffrey Dahmer style. Maybe if I just let it out in little increments. Oh, and I had half a cake left in the fridge. This is the worst day ever. Nope, almost shit myself. Oh, thank God, it's almost at my floor. Okay, get ready. Just a couple more floors, big boy. Oh shit, close, 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 close. 
Okay, so your friends are Stefan and Steven? Yeah. So my gay friends Steven and Stefan are in town, and I figured I'd introduce them to Chad because I need a little free entertainment because watching Chad interact with two gay men is single-handedly the funniest thing I have ever witnessed. Chad, this is Steven. Hold on. Absolute pleasure, darling. And his boyfriend, Stefan? Oh. Hi. Nice to meet you. Howdy. Cool, cool, cool. Awesome. Super cool. Ah, uh, so you two... You two are together. Yes. Yep. And that's awesome. That's aw Congratulations. That's stellar. Thank I'm you. I'm nice. stoked for you. I'm here for it. And I'm queer for it. Is, is that... You know when you're watching a toddler skate for the first time and he just keeps falling over and you should probably help him, but it's kind of funny just to watch him fall? Jazzy toddler. Well, I think it's great that you're riding that gay train, guys, because I'm in that caboose, you know, just pumping my fist in full support of your gay train ride. <laughs> All right, then. Not that I want to ride your train or in your train. Um, I don't have a ticket. <laughs> I'm just shoveling coal in the back into the engines of your love, you know? I just want you to know that. So. <laughs> I think Chad might be a little gay. Definitely gay. Riley, can you get off the iPad and help me clean up? After I'm done! Excuse me? After I'm done! Did you think that was a recommendation? No, do you think I ever spoke to you, Nona that way? You did. Literally all the time. Ma, I'm trying to teach you how to not talk back. Oh, what, by lying? For heaven's sake, your favorite word to use as a kid was fuck. Ma! Fuck! Mm-hmm. No! Oh, God, it was always fuck this, fuck that, fuck you, you know? <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, fine, fine, fine. But how about you tell her how you punished me after I did that, okay? Tell her. Tell her how you beat me into next Tuesday every time I did. I would never. What do you mean you never did? You did it every time! I do not recall that. Are you serious right now? I think you hit your head too many times as a kid, you're just making stuff up now. You were the one that did it! I okay, you need to calm down. Yeah, Mom, just chill the fuck out! That's on you. I don't... <laughs> Would you like to try that on? Hmm? Yeah, no, no, it's really nice. Like, it's not my size though. So. Oh, I could get you another size in the bag. That's okay. That's all right. Yeah, no, it's good. Remember that story you were reading to me? Where did I put my glasses? See you, Mom. Oh, where are you headed? Uh, the mall with some friends. Oh, you know what? I need some things from the store, too. So maybe I'll just tag along. And or you can just text me. I'll grab whatever you need. Okay? See ya. Or, yeah, okay, for sure. <laughs> Don't talk to anybody with a mustache. She'll come around one of these days, honey. Oh, what do you know, Christopher? Okay. I swore I put my glasses on the table. I just... I'm... Hey, Mom, I'm going shopping. Oh, okay. Have fun. <laughs> oh no, I was gonna ask if you wanted to come with me. And don't talk to anybody with a mustache. Wait, what? Do you want to join me? We can go get Starbucks before if you want. Mom? Oh yeah, yeah, of course. I just kind of grabbed my glass. Oh, look at that. And my purse and we can go. And we can go for sure. <gasps> okay, I'll meet you in the car. Yeah, I'll see you in the car. All right, okay, okay. <laughs> Christopher, it's happening! That's great, honey. Yeah, she wants to be seen in public with me. I don't know. I, I don't know why I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I don't know. What was that? 
What? Yeah, no, yeah, I'll see you in the car. Yeah, no, nothing, 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 <laughs> nothing. Everything's good, everything's good. <laughs> okay. What do I wear? I don't know. Are you my Uber? Yeah, I'm the Uber, I'm in. How old are you? 36. Yeah? Okay. We'll say plus eight. 64. Huh. Sounds pretty right. Who's Ben Affleck married to? J-Lo. What? No! Really? Yeah. What? I thought he was married to Jennifer Gardner. Not anymore. Oh. Well, now my day is ruined. Shame. Shame. So do you have that Benjamin Button disease or something? Yeah. Oh, cool. Does anybody else know? N no. That's all right. I'm like a vault. I'll take it to the grave. I'm the best at keeping secrets. Okay. For example, a couple of years ago, my best friend tells me that she's pregnant, yeah? Get this. It's not her husband's. It's the local ops driver's. Ops? Yeah, the guy that drives the big van with the door blown out with the boxes in the back. You mean UPS? I don't know what that is. Either way, he put a baby up her box and the poor bastard doesn't even know it. Shame. Shame. But I never told her so. So, way added. Then she's gone. Alright guys, I got us a haircut, so what do we think? I would have personally liked to be consulted first. I wasn't mentally prepared to look like an off-brand Justin Bieber just yet. Okay. I approve of this cut. Oh good, you like it. Ah, oh, it's very practical for combat situations, less to grab onto. It's not why I got it, but... Less grabability could be a negative too, if you know what I mean. And for those reasons, I'm out. This isn't Shark Tank, you can't just... No! Where's the flow, bro? I'm sorry, I just... <laughs> I don't even know who I am anymore! Chad! Chad's dead! And you killed him. I think it's kind of hot. Yeah, it's kind of grown on me too. <laughs> Well, I think we look chic. Oh, we could be in one of those Vogue magazines or something. Oh, yeah, but you're still dressed like Adam Sandler, so maybe like People magazine or something. Mm, how dare you? I just can't believe the betrayal. Like, how dare she cut her own head of hair? Like... <sighs> well, I think it makes us look... Permission to swear? Granted. Badass. Super badass. Awesome! And Riley, what do you think? Do you like it? Yeah, I do. If it's okay with you, it's okay with me. Oh, so, we starting the boy band or what? Hello, everybody, and welcome back to school. Why don't we reintroduce ourselves and tell a little fun fact about the winter break? Oh, this is like our mother's meetings. Your mom's meetings? I don't... No, the ones where she talks about her issues. Oh, um, uh, therapy? Oh, my mom takes me to those. We all sit in a circle like this, too. Oh, yeah, I think my daddy used to go to those, too. Oh, not anymore. Nope. He's in jail now. I feel like those Canadians always run those meetings, too, because they always call it AA. AA? Oh, no, no, that's not what we're doing. Um, Riley, why don't you just start it off? <laughs> Hi, I'm Riley. Hi, Hi Riley. Riley. And last week, I took a sip of my mom's spicy juice and then took three dollars out of her purse to buy candy from Tony. Who's Tony? Hi, I'm Buddy. And Hi, Buddy. Buddy. And I put a metal fork in the microwave yesterday to see if it would explode. Did it? Yep. Okay, this isn't what this is supposed to be, so I think we're just gonna stop. What's up? Okay. My name's Tony. Hi, Hi Tony. Tony. All right, let's get to the brass tacks. I got gushers going for a dollar a piece. I got a two-for-one deal going for fruit by the foot. And for any of you heavy hitters, I got warheads going for three dollars a piece. And they're hard to come by, so there's no negotiating that. Are you even in this class? Don't get your panties in a twist, toots, okay? I'm in Miss Reznikoff's first grade class. I'm just trying to do business. Can I have a pack of gushers and a warhead? You got it. No, no, no. Sorry I'm late to the party. Mm -hmm. Oh, no worries, come on in. <laughs> Who is that woman? I don't know, but I'm gonna find out. Where is everybody? Mom! Oh, hey! Mom! Where is she? Mom! What? Riley, have you seen your mom yet? No. 
Where is she? she should be here by now. Maybe let's ask this extremely attractive woman. Da, miss, do you know the location of our other mother? Uh, are you guys serious right now? Mom? <laughs> Riley, that is not your mother. <coughs> Holy shit. What do you mean? I am not going to lie. I did not recognize you. Yeah, you look stunning. I did not realize she had this much potential. Da, it's like she leveled up to an upgraded skin. Da, reconfirming my suspicions we are living in the simulation. Hey, beautiful, I haven't seen you around here before. <laughs> Ew, Chad! Janet! Holy, did you change your... everything? You all suck. I'm gonna go talk to your mother. Hi guys, so I know most of you know that I've been struggling with recovery and mental health a lot lately. So I just wanted to show you a few things that I just do for me that really help ground me and make me feel good about myself. So come with me to see what I do before I start work. First, I make my third cup of coffee of the day. Don't worry, this one was decaffeinated, I just lied. Then I look in the mirror and do my morning affirmations. You are not a piece of shit. This was supposed to be a joke, but that actually kind of felt good. I highly recommend. I wanted to make and eat one of my fear foods, if you will, on my own. But then I went to my pantry and realized I didn't have any syrup, which I think is punishable by death in Canada. So I ordered IHOP instead. And this is something I actually loathe doing, but I'm going to make my bed. I heard somewhere, like, if you have a clean room, you have a clean mind or some bullshit like that. And not going to lie, it, it actually kind of works. It makes me feel more at peace. Who's your daddy? Cue two camera angle transition moment. Slay. And it's still early, so I decided to paint a little and put my coffee down and forget about it and need to microwave it later. Painting is something that's always been really therapeutic to me, and I can kind of just turn my brain off, which is really nice. And I listen to, like, really nice, calm music while I do it, too. Now it's time to feed the chickens! I got watermelon that's kind of going bad in my fridge, so I'm gonna go feed the ladies. Anything to do with animals, whether it's Kevin or my chickens or whatever, just always makes me feel better like no matter what and i love just being outside in general but caring for these little ladies is a bonus for sure i forgot the watermelon was bad but anyway i hope you enjoyed my little self-care video i know it's not my usual content but i challenge you to do a little something for yourself today too okay bye beautiful so why do you think your father suggested you come for counseling um i think because my mother died and he can't talk about it and my sister and I didn't speak for a year because she thinks I tried to sleep with her husband and because I spent most of my adult life using sex to deflect from the screaming void inside my empty heart. I'm good at this. Although I don't really do that anymore. You close with your family? <laughs> we get on with it. Do you talk? God, no. Any friends? Sorry? Any friends? No, I don't really have time for... Well, I have a guinea pig, but she blows hot and cold. <laughs> Not a joke. And what have you found in your abstinence? Well, I'm very horny, and your little scarf isn't helping. So the impulse is still there? Oh, yeah, the, the impulse is... The impulse is very much still there. It's just never the right person. Do we have to go in there? Your sisters always make fun of me and interrogate me. Yes, we do. And no, I'm sure it'll be fine. Hey guys, you remember my boyfriend, Simon? Hey guys. Steve, what's up? Yeah, how's it hanging, Sergio? It's Simon. You know what, I'm just gonna step up for a sec. Why are you going outside, Stanley? Yeah, what's up, you, uh, smoke? Are you talking about... I didn't say that. She didn't say that. Is that what I said? It's not what you said. So Samuel smokes the devil's lettuce. What? No, no, I don't. Then why are you going outside, Sean? To make a call. Oh, okay. Makes sense. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know who else makes calls, Sonny? No. We'll give you a hint. Rhymes with rug reeler. No! Would you guys stop? He's having a hard day, okay? We got pulled over on the way here. That's why we were late, so quit packing it on. Okay, gee, we're, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, we're sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, so, uh, wh why'd you get pulled over? Um, probably looking for his rugs. <laughs> Rut row. <laughs> That's good. That's it. I'm leaving. Simon! Oh, come on, shit. It was rust a row. <laughs> That was really runny. <laughs> Rank you. I hate you guys. Rub you. Oh, honey, look, it's a fin dive. That's fun. I've never heard of that before. I didn't realize that that was here. Hey, honey, honey. We need sunscreen. We need sunscreen. We need to reapply. It's only, it's been 30 minutes. Oh, what is that one? Is that Bavuk? Bavuk. 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 I don't know. If you can't pronounce it, you can't afford it. Hey, hey. Sunscreen time! Sunscreen time! Oh, honey, it's gutchy. Oh, that's interesting. It kind of sounds like a another word for a vagina. Balenciaga, what the hell is that, sweetie? I think it's a type of fitness class. Oh, I ain't signing up for that horse shit. Oh, honey, I got a lot of swass building up. I got a blot. Oh, look, it's 
That's a Prada. I've never seen that before in real life. That's that's nice. So when do you think this thing starts, huh? I don't know, but do you think I need to reapply? All for sauce. That sounds like a type of pasta. Is that a type of pasta? Let's take a photo. My hat in the way. <laughs> I can't believe I'm single. I really thought Doug was the one. Here's some of the best advice I ever got, okay? Men are like refrigerators, okay? It's not about what they look like on the outside. It's about what they got to offer on the inside. Whoa. Yeah. Huh. Mm-hmm. Doug had a nice fridge. Are you saying I should get back with Doug? No, no, no. Okay, you're missing the point. Okay, Doug is the fridge in this scenario. All right, I know he wasn't the hottest model, but he wasn't that bad. No, see, Doug is a nice, expensive KitchenAid fridge with no fingerprints on the outside, okay? But when you open it, all you see is expired milk, bacon soda, a six-pack of PBRs, and half a jar of pickles in it. You get what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure Doug had a whirlpool fridge. Oh my god. What I'm saying is he's pretty on the outside, but he's empty and rotten on the inside, okay? I see. I see. Okay. But what about when you have company? It's always good to have a nice fridge on display. Yeah, until they open it and realize there's zero substance inside it. Oh, see, simple. Close it, forget about it, order food. No, you can't keep ordering food, Amanda. Okay, okay, I get it, I get it. But answer me this. If a straight man is a fridge, what is a lesbian? We're like dryers. There's either nothing inside or all our clothes hot and ready to move in with you. It's true. Mm-hmm. Oh, I wish I was a lesbian. But I just can't wrap my head around the regime. But I guess I did once when I came out with my mum. But I think that was just a one and done situation. Okay. Oh, this talk has got me hungry. You got any snacks? Yeah, I got a fridge full of them, and you know why? Because I'm not Doug. Ah, I see what you did. Yeah, see? Hey. <laughs> hey, Todd. Long work day. Whew, don't I know it. <laughs> oh, you don't like your food? You haven't touched it. Oh, no, I'm just trying to find a video to watch. <laughs> I don't, I don't understand. Oh, before I start eating, I just like to find something to watch, so. Oh, okay. Uh, what, you can't eat while you're looking? I mean, I can. <laughs> I just like to find it first so I can enjoy my food. So you can enjoy your food unless you're watching a screen? <laughs> yeah, I can. Okay, <laughs> then do it. Right now? Right now. Okay, fine. Great. I can't, I can't. You I... can, you can. I don't... Where, do you... Where do you even look? Anywhere. Anywhere. <sighs> okay, okay. Here we go. <laughs> I'm doing it. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Look at me go. Look at that. You know what? Never mind. You can watch your thing. Adam, Adam. That's what I thought. Hello, everybody, and welcome back. <laughs> it was funny. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Update, the stars have aligned. For those of you who don't know, I've been going back and forth with Nickelback on TikTok. We got some beef and uh, Chad Kruger accepted my chat off. <laughs> and it just so happens that today they're shooting a music video an hour away from me and it's an open invitation to the public so you bet your sweet ass I'm gonna crash it. <laughs> and you best believe I'm gonna be taking Chad to burn the other Chad to the ground tonight. This is the fit today. You better take a photograph if you want it to last longer. Bye little floof. I will be back. I won't be far away for far too long. Well, first we gotta stop for coffee to feed the machine. I'm the who was standing in lines for overpriced coffee. That was the last one, I swear. Amber, who do you think's the better Chad? Chad Kroger. That's not what I paid you to say. Pretty little lady with a pretty big thong. If she could daddy hitting on her all night long, doesn't care about the money she could be with anybody. And if funny of the honey wanted you all alone. Okay, we're here. I can sense Chad in the atmosphere. I can feel it on my pit vipers. I have infiltrated the premises. They give me a full access pass. <laughs> They're putting me in the music video. Look at this. <laughs> oh, this is awkward. Uh, this is weird. Your services are no longer required. Can I please have the sunglasses? So that's it. She's singing. I'm out. Yeah, man, you've been out chatting. Give us the glasses. 
But you can take my spot in the band. But you will never take my sunglasses. What's on the list of things to do today, Memory? Yeah, it uh, it looks like a lot. We have a total of 28 tasks to do today. That's more tasks and holes than a misunderstood emo kid's pants. Well, let's start with the most important first. Uh, yeah, we do have that paper to write, which will take the longest. Perfect, let's do but that. But we do have several calls to make before the end of the day. <sighs> okay, let's do those then first. But we can't do those calls until we shower and get ready because most of them are Zoom meetings and FaceTimes. Okay, well... And we also have family coming over at four and the place is an absolute disaster. Just make her do something! On it! What in Mother Mary Fudge Knuckles is going on, Memory? Uh, I don't know, sir. Everything seems to be shut down. What? Why is it so cold in here now? Yeah, whole thing's frozen. <laughs> we are out of commission. What do you mean? We have a million things to do! <laughs> yeah, doesn't matter. We are overwhelmed and in freeze mode, my guy. Damn it, for how long? A couple minutes, a couple hours, a couple days. I got 20 bucks on a couple days at least. Mm-hmm. We don't have time for this Oh shit! Okay, okay. Let's go shower. We need to shower. Okay. Oh, oh, we're back online! <laughs> oh, thank the Lord! Nope, but you can thank me. <laughs> we have way too much stuff to do. We can't waste any more time. <laughs> um, thank you? Yeah, it's like a lesser of two evils. <laughs> also, you owe me 20 bucks. <sighs> I quit. All right, we're here. Who's ready to hike? Oh man, these trees are just gorgeous. Look at that. It's pretty cool. Parkour! <laughs> we should do this more often. Why don't we do this more often? I, I, I don't Why know. Why don't we do this more often? I just feel so connected out here, you know? Do you feel connected? Yeah. I feel connected. How you doing? I'm good. I can go for like, like four more hours. Easy. Wait, wait, wait. She's gonna take a quick water break. Just a quick water break. Just another, just another quick water break. Oh, oh, What's oh, wrong? Oh, oh, I tore my ACL. Right now? In middle school. It's just acting up. God damn it. I think we missed a turn. No, we didn't miss a turn. I know exactly where we're going, okay? You don't need to question me. I've walked this a million times. Didn't we already pass this tree? Oh, God. I think we're lost. Yeah, that's what I just said. Shh. Do you hear that? What? Is that a bear? What if we do if there's a bear? I'll Google it. I'll Google it. There's no service! Good job getting us lost. You know what? If that is a bear, all I have to do is outrun your swollen feet, okay? I'm pregnant. Yeah, and whose fault is that? I'm about to take a walk in New York, and I'm gonna narrate some pigeons, all right? Hey, how you doing, beautiful? I haven't seen you around here. You need somebody to show you around Central Park? Are those feathers real? Come on, give me a smile. Give me a smile. Would you f*** off? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't need that kind of talk around here, all right? I can find a lady anytime, anywhere I want, all right? Your wife's got a nice beak. Are you talking about my wife, motherfucker? No, get back here. Get back here. Let me talk to you for a second. Yeah, whatever, Let me talk man. To you for a second. It's not worth it, Angelo. No, no. He's not gonna get away with this. Get back here. Can we just drop it? Yeah, yeah. When you're done with your husband, I'll meet you over at the Euro stand. I'm out. I'll deal with this guy, boys. Hey, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you pushing up on us, all right? All right, F you. We don't gotta deal with you. You know who we are? You don't even wanna know who we are. I got a buddy up the block who knows a guy who will break the f***ing kneecap, so don't mess with us, all right? Watch your back, buddy. I have a little story time for you guys, a little cringy story time about how I am in the wild interacting with people. So I go to Starbucks and uh, the girl that hands me the drink is very cute. I get a little flustered, but she gives me a compliment, which was her first mistake. And she says, oh my gosh, I love your headscarf. It's so cute. And I said, my hair's super greasy. I haven't washed it in days. I didn't say, oh, thank you. I'm actually wearing it because I haven't washed my hair. I just said, my hair's super greasy. I haven't washed it in days, period. Full send myself off a bridge. And then she said, okay. And then I, I followed that up by saying, I'm mentally ill. <laughs> And then she said, oh, and then I just piled on that and said, but yours isn't. And I meant to, like your hair isn't greasy. And that's just the compliment would have been your hair looks nice. But I just basically said your hair doesn't look like a bag of shit. Um, so I am going to be single for the rest of my life and I'm just going to stop interacting with human beings. All right. 
Hi. Hi. Come to this place often? Sometimes. <laughs> what are you doing there? Just trimming my bush. Just, I like to keep it tidy. <laughs> this is my bathroom. Just in here. It's, uh, it's, what the, f what are you doing? Mind your damn Why business. Why are you sitting on it backwards? Mind your damn business. I don't even know. You shouldn't like you leave. Okay, I'm moving out. Hey. Hey. Is your name Jean? Because you're wearing them. I am. Did you use your echolocation to find me? Or the smell of my musk? It was smell. <laughs> Who are you? Don't mind me, I'm just a whisper in the wind. Okay. You want me to put you? I'd love that. Cause your beauty's been pushing me over the edge. I, I, you're strong, damn. Yeah, I like when you slam back. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey. You come to these places often? Sometimes. These woods? It's the playground. I like how it smells here. <laughs> you should slide down this slide like you slid into my DMs. Watch me. Oh, uh, slower. Uh. Like that? Yep. I'd step. We need to lube it up. Come sit with me. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. That fits good. 